Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to invest in real estate and start receiving passive income with $12 and a cell phone. So we all know that real estate is one of the best investments out there, and it's one of the most effective paths to building true wealth. On average, real estate appreciates in value 3% a year, and it gives you fantastic opportunities for those two magical words, passive income. But there are some challenges to investing in real estate. So first off, real estate is pretty expensive. The average cost of a home here in the US is $300,000. There's also some pretty high transaction fees involved and cost you anywhere between three and 4% to buy a property in closing costs and another six to 7% in closing costs to sell a home. So that means if you bought a $300,000 investment property, it could cost you up to $30,000 in fees just to buy and sell that property. And lastly, it's not a very quick or easy process to buy and sell an investment property. It could take you one to two months to actually buy a property and another one to two months to then sell that property. What would you do if I told you that there is a way to invest in real estate with as little as $12, still generate passive income of three to 6% of your investment a year, pay $0 in transaction fees. It's simple, it's easy, and you can do it all right on your phone. And this is no scam, this is 100% legit. It involves investing in REITs that pay dividends and using a brokerage that charges $0 in transaction fees. And this is the step-by-step -step method I'm gonna be showing you today as I invest my own money into a $12 REIT that pays 5.5% dividend on my investment. So let's first talk about what is a REIT. REIT stands for a Real Estate Investment Trust. So a REIT is a company that is traded on a public exchange and invest in income producing real estate that they buy and rent out. For example, some REITs invest only in residential properties while other REITs invest in hotels or some may invest in shopping centers or some may only invest in retirement communities. So by buying a share of one of these REITs, you own a share of the real estate that the REIT owns. So you still benefit from that real estate appreciating in value as well as any passive income that that real estate produces in the form of a dividend that's usually between three and 6%. So real quick, how that works is let's say it's a 5% dividend and the share costs $100. That means every single year, they're gonna pay you $5 for holding on to that REIT. Now, not all REITs pay out yearly. Some may split that $5 up into two payments and pay you twice a year. Some may split that $5 up into four payments and pay you quarterly. And some REITs actually split that up into 12 payments and pay you monthly. So the biggest benefit of REITs is it allows you to invest in real estate, but you don't have to spend months and thousands of dollars buying a property, fixing it up, finding a tenant for it, renting it out, and then managing that property. The truth is not everybody has the time, the money, or the skill to handle a project that size. And REITs allow you to invest in real estate that you probably can never afford on your own, like an apartment complex or a shopping center. Another thing I like about REITs is that they're typically not correlated to the US stock market. So if the stock market goes up or down, usually that does not affect the price of the REIT. So a lot of investors like having REITs in their investment portfolio just to diversify it a little bit more and just to kind of hedge their bets in case the stock market does something crazy. So quick note, obviously in 2008, the stock market took a dive and the real estate market took a dive, but that's a bit of an anomaly. Typically the real estate market and stock market are uncorrelated. As one goes up, that does not affect the price of the other one. In 2008, that only happened because there's a lot of fraudulent mortgages that were being bought up by these big banks. But typically the two markets are not in sync like that. And that's why a lot of investors like having REITs in their portfolio. Now investing in REITs is only half the equation here. You also want to use a brokerage that does not charge you any fees for buying or selling investments. Unfortunately, most banks charge you anywhere between seven to $12 to buy or sell an investment. And this makes it really difficult to make small investments. If you're trying to invest $100, but you have to pay $12 for that transaction, you are instantly losing 12% of your investment just by investing it in the first place and you're gonna lose even more. You're gonna lose another $12 on the back end when you go to sell that investment. See, I personally believe in making small investments often, maybe weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, or just whenever you have some extra cash on hand. But when these banks charge you these outrageous fees to make these investments, it makes that method virtually impossible. You see, I personally have $25 a week that automatically goes right into my investment account. And this method is known as dollar cost averaging. Regardless of what the price is doing, I'm just making a small investment. And on a long enough timeline, my average cost to purchase that investment is typically far below the actual market value. But if I had to pay $12 every time I invested $25, I'm instantly losing 50% of my investment. It just doesn't make sense. And that's why today I'm gonna share with you two brokerages that both charge $0 in transaction fees, 
Both have really nice mobile apps and both are insured so you know your investments are safe. So the first one's gonna be Robinhood. So Robinhood made big waves in this industry in 2013 when it came out with this mobile investing app that charged zero dollars in transaction fees. So what I like about Robinhood is it just has a very nice, clean and simple user interface. And also they're still innovating in this space just to try to stay competitive. For example, later this year, they're launching fractional shares, which I am super excited about. You see, typically you need to have enough money to buy one share in order to invest in a company. For example, if you wanted to invest in Warren Buffett's company, Berkshire Hathaway, you would need $339,000 just to buy one share. That is a little crazy. And unfortunately, it's very unattainable for the average American. But when Robinhood launches fractional shares, you'll be able to invest in Berkshire Hathaway for as little as $1. Why I'm really excited about that is let's say I own a $100 REIT that pays a 5% dividend. So I make $5 off that REIT. With fractional shares, I can instantly put that $5 back into that REIT, and now I'm getting paid a 5% dividend on that $5. And later this year, Robinhood is also launching a cash management feature. So it's essentially gonna be like a savings account that is gonna earn you 1.8% interest on your money just sitting in this account. And that's huge. I don't think any of the major banks offer anything even close to that. My bank only gives me a half a percent interest on my savings account. So real quick, if you open up the app and you register for access access to the cash management, it gives you this little card right here with a number. And if you start just clicking on this card, it like increases your spot in the line to get access to this feature. It's pretty silly, but nonetheless, I've gotten into the habit of just opening up the app every day and just kind of mindlessly clicking this a few hundred times. So look, if you wanna just download the Robinhood app or go to the website and create an account, you absolutely can just do that. But if you wanted to support this channel and use my referral link to sign up, which is down in the description of this video, you and I each get one free stock. By using my link, you'll have a one in 200 chance of getting a stock like Facebook or Microsoft, or a one in 90 chance of getting something like GE or Ford. So once again, you don't have to use my link, but if you wanted to, it's down in the description of this video. So another brokerage app that I've been using that's similar to Robinhood is called Webull. And once again, they charge you $0 in transaction fees. But what I like about them is that they give you more data and analytics about the different stocks than Robinhood does. So Robinhood is very simplistic and minimalist, but if you wanna go a little bit deeper into the analytics and the data, then Webull may be a good option for you. So another thing I really like about Webull is they're trying to make it more of a social experience. So underneath of every single stock, users can leave comments on that stock. You can vote whether or not you think the stock's price is gonna go up or down. And they have a lot of like competitions and user forms, and you just engage with other users on that platform. Another cool feature is that they have paper trading. So at paper trading, they give you $1 million to invest on paper, and you can buy and sell stocks using that million dollars. So you can try out your different investment strategies and see how well they do, whether your money goes up or go down. They also hold competitions with this paper trading that allows you to earn real money. They also try to gamify this entire experience. So you actually get points for competing in paper trading competitions and leaving comments and engaging with other users on their platform. So overall, I think Webull is trying to make investing just more approachable, more fun, and just less formal. So once again, you can just download the Webull app if you like, but if you wanted to use my referral link in the description of this video, we each get two free stocks valued anywhere between $12 and $1,400. So yeah, if you wanna get three free stocks all together, all you need to do is use my two links to download Robinhood and Webull. All right, so enough of all that. Let's jump back into Robinhood. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to invest in a real estate investment trust for as little as $12. Hey, real quick, I just wanna stress that I am not a financial advisor and I am not advising you to buy any of the REITs I'm about to show you. But I did wanna show you a couple examples of what is out there and what kind of dividend return you can expect from them. But if you do invest in any REITs, please do your own research and due diligence. Okay, so the first one I wanna look at is Well Tower. So this one's going for $81. And if you scroll down, it's paying a 4.3% dividend. So that means it's gonna give you 4.3% of your investment every single year. Now, whether they pay that out quarterly or yearly or monthly, I don't know. But if you look at the uh, analytic ratings for this, 37% people say buy, 63% people say hold. So maybe this is not the, the best one to invest in right now. If you scroll down to the bottom here, it gives you a little summary of this uh, investment. Well Tower Inc. engages in investing with senior housing operators 
post-acute providers and health systems. So if you wanna invest in senior living facilities, this one may be a good option for you. And considering that all the baby boomers started retiring just a few years ago, and that people are living longer, investing in this sector may not be a bad idea. So let's take a look at another one. This one is Kilroy Realty at $83 a share, and it pays 2.3% dividend. 64% uh, people say that they would recommend buying it. Kilroy Realty Corp engages in development, acquisition, and management of offices and mixed use real estate. So this REIT is investing in office spaces and renting them out to businesses. So if you predict that the economy is going to keep growing, there's gonna be more and more businesses, then investing in office spaces may not be a bad idea. All right, so let's take a look at Mid-America Apartment Communities. So this one's selling for $131 a share. It pays 3% dividend a year. It has a 35% buy score. And down at the bottom says, Mid-America Apartment Communities Inc. is a real estate investment which engages in the operation, acquisition, and development of apartment communities. So this one, it sounds like they're actually building apartment communities. The average American would never have the opportunity to buy an apartment complex themselves. So a REIT like this is just a great way to get into an apartment complex for a few hundred bucks. Okay, and lastly, let's take a look at Blue Rock Residential Growth REIT. That's the name, it is $12.06. And if we scroll down, it has an 86% buy score, according to Robinhood, which is really good. That's the highest one we've seen so far. And this is the cheapest REIT that we've seen so far. And if we look, it has a 5.4% dividend. So every year they're gonna give you, they're gonna give you 5.4% of your investment. If we scroll down to the bottom, Blue Rock Residential Growth REIT Inc. operates as a real estate investment trust. It engages in acquiring apartment properties. The company was founded in 2008. So let's go ahead and hit trade on this. And so you can do option trading where you short or long a, uh, a stock. I do not recommend that unless you do a heck of a lot of research on that. And even then I don't really recommend it. Let's just buy the, buy the stock. Okay, $12.06, I wanna buy one share. It's gonna cost me $12.06, isn't that nice? I hit yes, buy our BRG, swipe up to trade. And it's that simple, and that's what I love about Robinhood, it's just a very simple and easy app to use. I also like how they tell you when you get paid a dividend. Uh, down at the bottom, you go over to the messages, and every time you get paid a dividend, it tells you right here in the messages. So let's open up this message here about Qualcomm, says success, because you own one share of QCOM on December 4th, you've received a dividend payment of 62 cents. And if we scroll up, I've got several of these dividend payments. And this is why I love dividend investing. It's one of the simplest ways for you to build passive income with your money. If you had enough money invested in dividend stocks and REITs, you could generate a few hundred dollars passive income every single month from these dividend payments. So look, if you wanna learn more about personal finance and investing, check out this playlist right here of some of my other videos that I've put together. And if you do wanna check out Robinhood or Weeble, I'd really appreciate it if you use my link down in the description below. It's just gonna help support the channel and help me create more videos just like this one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you over in the next video.